extra uh, diploma of pain medicine is um, for anesthesiologists or anesthetists who practice uh, pain medicine, especially the chronic pain uh, management. So they have to have experience within the chronic pain as well as the post-operative pain. The pain medicine is just more than doing the injections and, and putting the needle into people and blocking it. So that's why in 2015, there was idea architected by Professor Jose de Andres, Professor Samuel Dabi and Professor Eric Buxer to create the exam which will balance the pain medicine from the wider perspective. So not only from the perspective of anesthesiologists and the regional anesthetists, but also looking into the basic sciences, looking into anatomy, physiology, pathophysiology and pharmacology, and putting it all together and integrate with the clinical practice. So at the moment, we have uh, two parts of the exam. The first one is uh, multiple choice questions and consists of uh, 60 questions, true and false. So it's a mixture of the basic sciences and, and the clinical experience. And the part two is a VIVA exam and consists of uh, a clinical scenario, pharmacology, pathophysiology, pain syndrome and a pain intervention. From my experience, what I observed, it's just about your motivation. How, why do you want to take this exam? What you're going to prove uh, for yourself? But there is no uh, really structure or to say you should take it at the beginning of your career or in the middle of at the end. At the moment, we have a passing rate for both the VIVA and the MCQs around 60%. So it's not the easiest exam because the pain medicine is a, is a vast subject. We have the ESRA uh, meetings and congresses, we have a practical workshops. Uh, so this is the, the source uh, when you can consider as a part of your curriculum. This exam is not only for the injections, for the intervention, for how to do the blocks. We're coming back to the medical school, coming back to anatomy, coming back to the pathophysiology, physiology and, and pharmacology. And this is the important knowledge for the candidate. So I would like you to encourage and motivate and challenge you to consider to take ESRA exam. It will make you only the better physician and the wiser doctor and safe for the patient and you will get more satisfaction from the outcome.